Why don't you give love on Christmas Day? Oh, even the man who has everything would be so happy if you would bring him love on Christmas Day. No greater gift is there than love. Good morning, everyone. Today is December 11th. Happy Vlogmas. Happy Sunday fun day. Uh, I, what am I doing today? I am trying to relax, okay? I'm trying to just have a chill day and not do too much. Outside is threatening to snow, but I don't think it's cold enough for snow to happen. So it's going to be like overcast and rainy drizzly all day which makes me not want to go out and do anything um but i do have a lot to, to catch up on um as far as um uh, vlogmas is concerned i have two more videos to upload so i'll be working on that this morning i also have to remedy the whole super wings debacle yesterday i was not able to get any chicken wings and i am not happy so i decided i will make my own damn wings because hello <laughs> i can cook and um when you really want something you make it happen same way like hey i go and i see a sweater and it's like you know one of these really crazy designer sweaters that costs like two thousand dollars and you look at it and you say you know what i can make that i can knit like this is just a cable stitch or a stockinette stitch i can do this and then you know you spend 250 dollars on yarn and you make the said sweater but still uh you didn't spend two thousand did you um and you have the sweater so it's that same attitude that i'm using today so i am going to show you how i make my chicken wings i am actually doing something new today um I'm gonna make tamarind wings, but I've never done them before. However, I have made wings that you put in the oven and they get really crispy. And I did make them for Super Bowl with, uh, what is that? The the sauce, the, the uh, hot sauce, you know, you know, the regular buffalo wing sauce. So I've done the basics of it before. This is just literally a different sauce that I'm going to use. So I have made tamarind sauce before many times. We usually have it with fish cakes or pilori, which is a, uh, a dough made out of ch uh, so split peas flour that you fry. Um, it's a Trinidadian dish that I love and it's also vegan. So it's super cool for everybody to eat. Um, and, um, do they put regular flour in it? It might be gluten-free. It can be made gluten-free, honestly. So, um, that's a whole nother avenue though. That's a whole nother talk. But, um, the tamarind sauce it what, is what I love and I'm going to do that today and I'm going to have that on the wings. So, I am going to be kind of revamping my normal tamarind sauce recipe because I want to have it be a little bit thicker than I usually make it so that it could be really like ooey gooey and sticky for the sauce, for the um, for the wings. And um, I may have some other sauces like packed away somewhere. I have something like yarn fuzz. What is that? Anyway, um, I may have some other sauces packed away somewhere in my house. So I might just throw in a different sauce on one of the wings. We'll see. It depends on how much tamarind sauce I make, whatever. But that is the plan. We are making wings and we're making tamarind sauce. I have no idea what I'm going to eat with it. We have like rice and stuff. So I could probably make either um, my Spanish rice or peas and rice. I think my mom would rather the Spanish rice though. So Spanish rice with tamarind wings. I got to figure out what's going on for um, a vegetable, but whatever. I'll figure it out. Um, and yeah, yes, it is morning and I am already deciding about lunch slash dinner because you have to plan. <laughs> so that's what's happening today. So let me show you what I do in the kitchen and um, let's go. So today I decided to make some chicken wings because I did not get any yesterday and I'm still very upset about it. And you know what? I can cook, so damn it, I'm making my chicken wings. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I have it soaking in water. I'm gonna put some salt. And I'm going to add some lime juice. This will make it not be all like 
gross and it'll like help with like removing a lot of the fat and that slime that you have with chicken. So I'm gonna let this chill out for a little bit and then I'm going to find my seasonings and start seasoning my chicken wings. Okay, so I'm going to go through the seasonings that I'm going to use in my chicken today. We're gonna to start off with green seasoning. This is my Trinidadian blend of herbs and spices that I put in there. I can't even get into what's in this right now because every household makes it differently, but trust me, this is the truth right here. In addition to that, I will have salt-free Southwest sweet and smoky seasoning because I wanna give us a little sweet and smokiness to it since we're gonna have the tamarind. I'm adding some Montreal chicken seasoning because there's a lot of seasonings in here that is kind of like in this all-purpose area of seasoning. Notice that it's gluten-free, no added MSG, no artificial flavors. I love that. Black pepper, I'm gonna throw in a little ground ginger and I'm gonna put in garlic salt instead of just pure salt. So these are the seasonings I'm gonna use. I might do something else when it comes to making the uh, batter, but this is gonna be my marinade. Okay, so we have added all the seasonings into the chicken. I'm doing this in the sink because I don't want anything to splatter on the countertops and I can always clean the sink down with Clorox right afterwards, but yeah. so. I put all the seasonings in and the most important part is to mix it. I have gloves on because yeah. And then you just wanna make sure chicken is coated thoroughly with seasoning. So it'll be good and get all up in there. Okay, I need to do this with two hands, but you know, you get the idea. So this is what the seasoning looks like when it's all mixed. Oh my God, you should smell this. It's so aromatic, delicious. Um, so I'm going to let this sit for about an hour or more. You could do this the night before if you want to, whatever, but we're hungry. So I'm going to let it sit for like an hour and then I'm going to work on making the breading for the chicken. We are doing oven fried chicken wings because we do not want to have too much oil and high saturated fat and all this drama. So we're going to make them in the oven today, but they're going to be super crispy and delicious still as if they were fried. So I'm going to cover this now and put this in the fridge to chill out for a hour. Okay, so the wings are currently marinating for at least an hour. I am in the process of working on the Vlogmas posts, um, you know, getting all the videos situated and everything. And um, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Opening advents, um, you know, try to get all the things done. I, excuse me. I do really, really want to work on my Save the Sheep advent today because I have like quiet time and I can sit down. Oh gosh, I keep hiccuping. Sorry. And I can sit down and go through all of, you know, every um, pattern section right now, every clue. So uh, I think I will do that once my files are uploading, probably when my chicken is baking. Um, so that would be a good thing because I just really like to, you know, multitask with time because we only have 20 hour, 24 hours in a day and you need eight of them to sleep. So what are you going to do with the rest of them? And we have 5 million things to do and we got to get it all done. So I like to do things like that, like layer different things during a specific time frame so that I can get stuff done. Um, I'm also sitting here staring at the sock advent for the Lucia MCAL that I have not even picked up since I created the toes and it's nagging me so I need to work on it. So that is something else I'm going to do because I have a feeling clue number three is going to come out really soon and I have been neglecting it and that is not nice. So uh, those are the plans for the day. So let me get to finishing this editing and making all the viewers happy and then I can proceed and do more yarny things. So now that the chicken wings have been marinating for a bit, I am adding some baking powder so that uh, they can be extra, extra crispy. I'm going to place them on parchment paper. 
I'm supposed to actually put it on a rack, but I can't find my rack right now for some reason. So I will use the parchment paper to absorb the excess fat once it melts off. It'll still be crispy, it'll be fine. So I'm just gonna mix this up right now and place them on the rack. Okay, so all of the chicken is coated. I added a little bit of flour just to kind of give it something to stick to, but yeah, this is the chicken with the uh, baking soda, baking powder, sorry. So it's gonna go in the oven right now. So while the wings are in the oven, I am going to start the tamarind sauce. I'm using this preserved um, tamarind because I don't want to sit here and fight with the actual plant. It's already been done for me. So I'm gonna add this to the pot with some water and some spices and some other stuff. I'm actually cutting up some garlic right now. That's gonna go in there and then we're gonna let, we're gonna let this simmer and um, come down into a sauce. So I will show you that soon. So this is the block of tamarind is in the water. I'm just gonna let it simmer so that it can do its thing. It's gonna take a while to kind of get really soft and it needs the heat to do its thing. So I'm letting that go while I prepare all the other seasonings to go into it. I added garlic and brown sugar to the pot and now I'm gonna add some more of the seasonings. This is gonna be so, so freaking good. We're trying to go for some complex flavors here. So we've got the tangy, we've got the sweet, we've got garlicky, we're gonna throw in a little bit of Indian spices, some jira, AKA cumin, and some masala as well to give it a little kick. And um, we're gonna throw in some more green seasoning just to give it a little something extra and some pepper, not too much though. So I just crushed up the tamarind block into like these little big, these big chunks, but we're gonna kinda like, when it simmers down, it's gonna like just turn into a homogenous mixture, but we have to just let it do its thing. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna put the spices in now. So I added the jeera, AKA cumin and the garam masala to the mixture and now we're gonna mix it up and let it simmer some more. Oh, I have to add red chili flakes because I don't have the, I'm not gonna put the scotch bonnet pepper in it and I don't want, I don't want it that hot. So I'm gonna add the chili flakes. Just added the chili flakes. Now we let this simmer some more. You cannot have a Trinidadian meal unless you put this herb in it. It is called Sharon Benny. It is also called Culantro. I've also seen it called Recayo in uh, Spanish stores. And this is like, it has a distinct flavor. It's a cousin to cilantro, but it is a more strong flavor and it makes everything just taste so good. So I'm gonna chop it up right now and put it in the sauce and let it simmer. I just did a rough chop, nothing fancy. Just cut it up any way you can to make small pieces and we're gonna add it to the pot right now. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. I added a bit more water because it looked like it was too thick and I tasted it and it's a little sour. So I'm adding more sugar. <laughs> I might add a little bit more water just to get it to mix a little bit because it's gonna just, um, it's gonna compress anyway when it dries down because of the constant boiling and simmering. So you just have to kind of play with it to see if it gets to a consistency that you actually like, yeah. So I added more sugar and it is perfect for me and my mom tasted it. She said it's great, so it works. And this is the consistency we have. I did add a little bit more water, but it's gonna cook down anyway, because as you see, there's steam coming out of here. So I'm just gonna let this simmer some more, thicken up a little bit, and um, we should be good to go with this uh, tamarind sauce that we're gonna put on our wings. So excited, oh my goodness. It's gonna be so good. So these are our wings and they're at 425. They have supposedly 10 minutes left, but I am actually going to remove the ones from the bottom 
and flip them with the ones on the top so that they can have even cooking in both uh, sections. And I think I might turn them around as well, flip them over, so we'll see. Okay, so the wings were sticking to the pan a little bit, the um, parchment paper, and this is why I was supposed to put it on the rack, but I couldn't find a rack, so whatever. Nothing is perfect, but they look pretty darn good for, for me. And um, I'm gonna let them cook for a little bit more, and then we have the sauce to go in it, and it's gonna be fire. So this is the result of the chicken, the crispiness. I had to pull that one off. I'm trying to salvage this from burning. So I put this on the top level of the oven. So this is what we have here. We're gonna, I'm gonna put everything in there and then throw in the sauce and we will have our tamarind wings. This one, this one here is my favorite. Look at that. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so we have these beautiful, crispy, oven-fried wings. You hear that crisp, right? All right, we got, we got the rice cooking on the side, but don't worry about that. We want to put sauce that is the boss on the wings. So I'm just literally going to start pouring. I'm not pouring all the sauce, mama. Just enough to coat it, because the remainder of the sauce, we can use for something else. There are many dishes in Trinidad that require tamarind sauce to be a condiment, so we can save the sauce that we have here in a glass jar for the next whatever <laughs> that we decide to make. So, tamarind wings, baby, yum, yum, yum. I'm so excited to try this right now and I'm gonna mix this up in here make sure the ones on the bottom are coated but you know you get the idea this is so succulent oh I'm so excited so excited So here is day 11 of the Cozy Knitter Advent Skein. I added a, a zip line <laughs> that I am going to rip out this little uh, one row of the sparkly white yarn. I'm going to rip that out for the heels. So I am halfway there, guys. So this is day 11 of the advent skein from the cozy knitter and the beautiful colorway is this coral colorway i love it and i feel like i'm really gonna have a pair of socks done for christmas i feel so excited so i'm just gonna keep going on with this so we are going to continue along with the knit in the city advent calendar this is day 11 and it is a light pink and i'm going to show you this along with all the other yarn in the bag, the Black Pearl Magic Bag that we love so much. So let me show you what the full gradient looks like. So this is the Knit in the City Advent from days one through 11 from Five Pearl Yarns and Black Pearl Magic. The colors range from, again, from yellow into orange, into pink, into light pink, into what will we have next? I don't know. But these are the first 11 colors, and I'm super excited about this. I cannot wait to see this in a project. I want to start something now, but then again, I want to wait to see where it goes. So, because if this is the beginning and then whatever else is at the end, I don't want, like, if I would prefer to have the end be the beginning, I would hate to have started working on something and then get to the end and be like, dang it, this should have been the beginning. So that is the only reason I'm holding out. I have a shawl in mind, but I'm not 100% sure yet because I want to make sure I see where this color flow is going. But right now, I love it. 
and um, I cannot wait. I have to wait 13 more days to see it to the end, but it's all good. So I'm going to put this away now and then get to the other admins. And here we have number 11 of the In December We Wear Pink Advent. Again, it is a light pink colorway. This advent for me is moving a bit slow on the color progression. I'm just wondering what surprises we'll have in store in the future. Let's see. I will show you what it looks like in its entirety in the full advent scheme from 1 to 11. So here are the first 11 colors of the in December, we wear pink advent designed by Through the Wool Yarn Co. I just want to show you this skein of fluffy mohair that was added to the package. I can't remember if I made, if I added a second skein on purpose or if this was part of it. Um, I feel like there might be another skein in there somewhere, but whatever. Um, so everything coordinates with this one, I am assuming at this point. This is 1 through 11. As you can see, there's a big difference between 1 and 11, but it really gradates very slowly to get there. So I'm really wondering where this is going. Um, I mean, it's all pink. I can't argue with that, but, you know, I am more of a hot pink person, so I'm really wondering what's happening. But it's okay. We can still work with this, so I'm not complaining. Just want to see where it's going. So these are the first 11 colors and I'm excited to see where this goes. And this is the Republic of Tea, 12 Days of Tea calendar. We are getting close to the end. So we have day number 11. Let's open it up. I opened it so it wouldn't be, I wouldn't be struggling with it. And we have Republic Chai Traveler's Black Tea Bag. So let's turn this around. Let's see what ingredients we've got. We've got black tea, cinnamon, orange, cinnamon, cinnamon, orange peel, ginger, cardamom seeds, Chinese star anise, clove, and black pepper. This sounds really, really good. This sounds like I should be drinking this after I have some five spice wings or something. I'm like totally thinking about wings. I can't get away from it. But um, yeah, this is delicious. It looks delicious. I cannot wait to try it. Here we have day 11 of the Bon Lamar Advent Calendar. And let's open it up. Moments from the heart. And we have honey. Oh, you know what? I should use this in my in a honey wings recipe. That would be so awesome. But you know, it's only a little bit. It's just one ounce, so it may not be enough. But I was wondering where the honey was because this whole thing has 23 jams and jellies and one honey so we found it okay so yeah this is beautiful <laughs> progress on the Save the Sheep advent. I am working on clue number eight. There's still a few more rows to complete this, but I was actually doing some editing of the videos, so didn't quite get my hands on my yarn as much as I wanted to. It's really hard to click on the computer and knit at the same time. <laughs> so I am looking forward to finishing this tomorrow and then picking up the other side for clue number nine I have to catch up because I don't want to fall behind it's getting bigger so the sections are getting longer and I'm going to need to really invest some time into this to really make it worth my while so here is the save the sheep advent and this is clue number eight in progress okay so 
Okay, so it is about 11 p.m. right now. I was watching Avatar. Didn't realize it was coming on normal TV, so I watched it. And I wasn't really intently going to go to the theater to see it because it was kind of like a distant memory. But seeing it all over again just brought up a lot of emotions. And I'm just like, I want to see what happens next. So um, hopefully, I may not go like the day that it comes out because like, oh, it's going to be ridiculous. Um, but soon enough, I want to go to Alamo Draft House to see it. And I really hope that they still have the popcorn that they served when um, Wakanda Forever was there because it was a really spicy, really nice popcorn. And I want to have some and I will be walking with a, take, a paper bag to take the rest home because I'm not letting that spoil and waste. Like, it was so good. So anyway, that's just like... Phew, to happen in the next few days or weeks or whatever we'll see whenever time allows it um so that's that but i just want to let you know also i did eat the wings that i made tonight oh something is in my eye Ooh. okay so yeah i did eat the wings okay but i did eat the wings they were so good i ate my belly full I am so happy I made my tamarind wings and I have enough tamarind sauce to put on something else. Um, so I can't wait. Maybe I will try to make some fish cakes. We'll see. Um, it's going to take a little time, but you know, I don't know if I necessarily want to be frying up a bunch of things, but um, they would go well with some fish cakes. Like I'm kind of on the fence about it because I do want to refrain from eating fried food much. Uh, which is why I made the wings in the oven to begin with, because I just wanted to taste like fried chicken, but not have like the the fattiness of the fried chicken. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, I'm really happy with my the way they turned out, and that will be a staple in my cooking repertoire from now on. And yeah, I'm super happy about it. So this is the end of day 11 of Vlogmas, Sunday night. It is actually past midnight right now, so it's really Monday morning. Um, I'm tired and it's time to go to bed. I uh, completed as much knitting as I could for the night. Uh, food was really great today um, and I just had a relaxing day. So with that, I'm going to say goodnight. I will see you all tomorrow and happy Vlogmas, everyone.